inside Rupp Arena where the 19th ranked Kentucky Wildcats back home only one home game in the last three weeks but today they will play host to the Belmont Bruins as a little holiday hoops coming your way in a matter of moments. They went to Julius Randle, Kentucky, on that last possession down in the post. Belmont's going to double team them, so it's going to be really important for them to play well and get to get spacing out of the double team. Some room for Harrison out of the corner. He misfires on the baseline jumper. Here's Carly Stein, the seven-footer, left-handed layup, averaging eight rebounds a game, his first basket. They run a lot of misdirection action, get the basketball moving to one side and then replace on the opposite side. Kentucky can switch that with this lineup, one through five. Let's see if they'll go to it in the next possession. Little Dixie do by Randall inside. Here's Mann, nice Jenkins. Jenkins. Pauly Stein with the rejection. Woo! Blake Jenkins, you think you have a wide open and the reaction, the quick reaction to the back. He's got long arms, and with him in the lineup, you can switch one through five. So you don't anticipate having a guy who can guard out on the floor, but he certainly can, and that's an improved area of his game. And there's good reason why. He's been sensational in terms of protecting the paint. Going to block shots late just when you think you have one. He's erasing it at the rim. And this is an area of this game that's vastly improved. As Coach Cal said, he could be pink or a dress <laughs> as long as you play basketball pretty well. He doesn't mind. Hard to argue with the production he's had. There you go. Young at the elbow. James Young, his first basket, averaging 14 points a game. Out of the corner. Late, it misfires. Kentucky on the go. Harrison all the way to the basket. Count it. Three point opportunity on the way. Unusual for this Belmont team. They're usually good at stopping your initial thrust in transition. No one declared the basketball, which allowed Aaron Harrison. And that's those little things that we talked about that's cost them some games so far here early in the season. Here's Randall. Takes it right to the basket. Not much that Evan Brads could do, and the big fella gets it going to the cylinder. Jerry Paulson checks in to run the point now for Kentucky. And Hawkins in the backcourt together. There's Randall. There's just no way to stop that. You can't stop Julius Randall in the paint. You can either get him on a direct post, but if you get him on the move, he is hard to guard. Julius Randall needs to touch the basketball every time down the floor, Dave. Every time he touches it, something good happens. Paulson wide open, top of the key, got it. First three of the game for the Wildcats, and their streak continues at 872 straight games with a three. Kentucky's not been able to take advantage of them, though. They've been out-executed offensively by this Bruin team. There's Point. There's hanging in the air, throwing one down. He threw that one deep. Poitras, 15-footer, baseline jumper. Shot at 16. Harrison. Contact count. Well, this is where Kentucky's at their best when they can attack you off the bounce. They have big guard. Belmont now 7 of 16 behind the three-point line. Paulson to Coley Sky for the flush. They've already gone out to North Carolina and gave them a little whipping on their home floor. Here's Randall. Every time he touches Every it, time. good things happen. Well, many of the 23,000 in here agree with you. Belmont's lead is nine, and they just looked at it on the big screens here inside or up. Randall, pull up jumper. Well, he is tough inside, outside. He is red. Nine point lead. Randall. In the corner it comes. Poitras. That's a three. Got it. Too strong. Rebound to Jenkins. Taken away by Harrison. Brother to brother. Does it work? Yes, it does. Michigan State, Baylor, and North Carolina. None of them were here in Rupp. J.J. Mann in and out.
Harrison lines it up. Tapped around. Hawkins, little floater. Kentucky's number one in second chance points among the major conferences. Wow! Willie Cauley Stein with another block. Harrison. Crossover. Ooh, nice move. Good move. Poitras. Gets it off to Aaron Harrison. Willie Cauley Stein. Shot clock will dip down to 10 seconds. Harrison pull up jumper. Friendly roll. Jalbe pull up jumper, and that's off the iron. Randall the rebound. Starts the charge. Paulson. Cross court pass. Hawkins gets it to Harrison. Holly Stein elevates off the window. The attention given to Julius Randle on the inside and Kali Stein slips along the backside. That's how tall those guards are for Kentucky. Randle spins in the lane. It's just trouble. I mean, it is amazing. You see it coming a mile away and you can't do anything about it. And shooting pocket to force them to put the basketball on the floor to show they had a great example of that was right there with. Aaron Harrison closing out on Drew Winler. And forcing J.J. Mann to shoot over a seven-footer. Out of the corner goes Aaron Harrison. Such an effortless three. And now the lead is up to eight. Nine forty-two to play. Harrison off the window. Post, you got post game? No. Okay. No, I got that center court game. <laughs> Here's Randall. Wow. Strong move. They've lost back-to-back -back games to South Dakota State and Denver. Have the Bruins. Nice. Poitras with a slam. Or a 3-2 zone by Belmont. Nice. Randall in traffic. Drew the contact. Count the basket. around the rim is just ridiculous and what I love about him is when he catches the basketball Dave he makes a quick move to the basket with the guys who you want with the basketball to score with Julius Randle on the bench Foley Stein has it swapped out of his hands but right into Poitras's Harrison right down the lane layup is good Nice little change of direction dribble with the defense spaced apart. That will go back to the first half. And how about the alley oop to Willie Cauley Stein? Beautifully executed, creating some separation with the ball screen. And if you throw it anywhere around the rim, that got him over the hump and left Chapel Hill with a win. Scoop shot, no good. Loose ball on the deck. Look at Hawkins battling for it. Cauley Stein. Well, he is so quick down in the paint. Harrison will back it out. Eat some of this clock. Collie Stein with the screen. Harrison. Alley oop. Oh. Got it to go. Wouldn't how he thought it would go down, <laughs> but it worked. I think Belmont's missed some opportunities to get him more involved in the offense in this second half. Alley oop. Out of nowhere came James Young. Harrison down the lane, his layup is good, and count it. Did a nice job running the point. Chow Bay lines up a three, and that's an off the mark, tapped around, and Poitras will bring it across the stripe, and that'll do it. Kentucky holds on, a scrappy bunch from Belmont. Let it to break, but they trail at the end. 93-80 is our final score. Up next, it's semifinal action of NCAA FCS Championship, Townsend versus Eastern Washington. So, for LaFonso Ellis, the rest of our crew, I'm Dave Neal. Let's send you out to Roosefield.